Hi, I'm Father George, Episcopal priest, Ford truck enthusiast, and smoke brisket champion. And today I'll be servicing the cooling system on our home 25 kilowatt liquid cooled Generac generator. Uh, the service manual recommends that the system be drained, flushed, and refilled once a year by a, an authorized service technician, which uh, for a job that we have to do on a regular basis seems a little excessive to me. And it's a pretty simple and easy job to do, and that's what I'm going to show you here today. And of course, step one is always, anytime you're going to work on the generator, to turn the generator off. So the drain for the radiator can be accessed from the side door, the main door that you do all your maintenance from. And it's, there's a label uh, down uh, near the fan guard that says, at the bottom of the fan guard, that says radiator drain there. And you can actually uh, access and do all the work you need to uh, right here in this tight space, but it's a lot easier if you take the battery out and get it out of the way. Uh, I'm not going to do that today, but um, uh, if you do decide to do that, like I said, it's a little bit easier. Uh, make sure you take the negative battery cable off before you try taking the battery out of here, uh, just for safety. Then you'll be hooking the battery back up uh, so that you can run the generator while you're flushing the cooling system. Uh, and that, There's plenty of uh, length of cable there to be able to do that with the battery sitting outside the generator. But today, I'm going to access it all from uh, right up in here. So you can see the uh, actual radiator drain uh, up underneath the fan guard. Uh, that is an 11 16 um, nut. Uh, and you get a wrench on that and loosen that and then the radiator fluid will pour out. And you can see the hose barb there to put the hose on before you do that so you could drain all of the fluid out. So I'll be using a, a shorty 11 16 inch wrench to, uh, to get the valve open. And I'm just going to stick my uh, hose through there. And like I said, it's really tight back up in here. So now the hose is up over the hose barb and I'm going to use the wrench to break the connection. So now the valve's open and the radiator has begun to drain. So to remove the overflow hose, just going to remove this clamp. Uh, pull the hose off here and then uh, you can come back over here and shoot it. There you go, feed it through that grommet there uh, and then there'll be enough length of hose to drain the uh, overflow container. Okay, so now the system's drained and I, I flushed it through one time with water just to fill it back up and let the water drain through the system. Uh, it's now time to use our uh, radiator flush. I'm using a Prestone, just follow the directions on the bottle. Uh, in this case, I've, I've closed the drain valve cock and uh, Pour the whole contents of the bottle in the radiator, fill it up with water, and let it run for 10 minutes. So that's what we're going to do. And start her up. Now, of course, running for 10 minutes is plenty of time for the generator to get up to its regular temperature. So we're going to let it cool down before we go any further. Don't be a fool. Let it cool. Okay, now that the generator has cooled down, we can drain the whole system again uh, and refill with the antifreeze and water. And remember, of course, we also need to drain the uh, overflow. So of course we need to use a 50-50 mixture of uh, full strength antifreeze and water. And the way I do that is pretty easy. I just put the whole, uh, the whole bottle of antifreeze in a clean bucket 
and then I'll refill the bottle with water and mix that in there and that way I know I've got a 50-50 mix. And don't forget to refill the overflow reservoir to the cold level. And of course, you always want to remember to dispose of your used antifreeze responsibly. No, no, not in there! Sorry. Well, that's it. Pretty simple, not too bad. It's something that you should do every year to help keep your generator uh, running strong and lasting a long time. I uh, hope you found this helpful and informative. Until next time, I'm Father George wishing you all the blessings.